Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and today I'm talking about the NES Classic Edition. It is now available in storage. You can buy them right now on Amazon. No, you can't? Okay. Uh, right now at Best Buy. Nope. Okay. Um, right now at Toys R Us. Okay, no. Okay. Um, right now at Target? Uh, no. GameStop. Ugh. Right now on eBay from scalpers at a price much higher than it's worth. Yes, I received this review copy from Nintendo. Thank you so much, Nintendo. I'm very happy about that, but it's a bittersweet kind of feeling because on one end, obviously, I have been excited about this since it came out or since it was first announced. But at the same time, it's a bummer that the pre-orders have sold out. It's nowhere in stores. A lot of stores didn't stock a lot of copies of it. And now, of course, the eBay scalpers have gotten their hands on it. Come on, man. It's Christmas time. Think of the children. There's 30 classic NES games on here. And what's interesting about this, when I first heard about this coming out, I thought it was gonna be all first party Nintendo titles. But what's cool is that they were actually able to get third party on this device. We got games from Tecmo, we got games from Konami, we got games from Capcom, Square. It's crazy that the NES Classic Edition kinda has more third party support than the Wii U. <laughs> Rest in peace. On the back, as you can see, it looks like a controller or the, or the D-pad there with all various games in this. And what I think is interesting is at the top, so I'm wondering if this is gonna be a new line of Nintendo products under the Nintendo Classics name. Maybe they're gonna make more merchandise, not just consoles, but just other things that are based on their classic Nintendo games and then put it under the Nintendo Classics brand. This could be a new division for Nintendo, a new way for them to make some revenue. What took you so long, man? You gotta play off that nostalgia, Nintendo. Remember Nintendo? Oh, yeah, I remember Nintendo, I remember. Now you're playing with power. Oh, it looks like it comes with a poster. This is awesome because when you would buy Nintendo games, they always would used to come with posters that would show you all the different games that you could get. Oh, it's even got Rob the Robot and Duck Hunt. Now that's kind of a messed up thing to show Duck Hunt on here because Duck Hunt's not on the NES Classic Edition. I don't even know how you could do it anyway because I don't know how you would be able to, to recreate the zapper functionality. They were like, well, we can't give you the actual game, so we'll give you a poster with Duck Hunt on it and Rob the Robot. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh my God, this thing is so tiny. Look at how tiny it is. It's so small. Honey, I shrunk the Nintendo. And it's got a little button, the reset button. This doesn't open up though. <laughs> it doesn't open up. Oh my goodness, who's been working out? Someone's been losing weight. Look at how small it is compared to this. In the 80s, this is what it took to play one game, and now in 2016, this little thing has 30 games built into it. Technology. <laughs> We've advanced so much as people with technology. Some things we ain't advanced in yet. I haven't watched too many videos because I want to be surprised myself opening it up myself, but I heard that this cord is not that long. And man, are they right. Oh my gosh, that's it. But look, it literally is the size of the screen right now. Like, look at that. You can also use the uh, the classic controllers. Any of the Wii controllers that have this port will plug into these two. The buttons on the controller can also be your reset. So I know some people were concerned about that, but that's cute. Now I love that the controller is pretty much almost the same size as the console. Like, look at that. Look at them on top of each other. <laughs> Dirty. Look at that. They're almost the same size, that's ridiculous. I know everyone's done their reviews, their thoughts, or even their unboxings, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to scroll through the game library and just give you some personal anecdotes, some ways that I played these games for the first time, or maybe not have played them before, and now get the chance to experience it through this. Ah, uh, here it go. NES Classic Edition. Everybody's gonna be wishing that they could play all these 30 games. They're all together and they're still the same. We got Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania 1 and 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite, Fight, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Icy Climbers, and Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac Man, Punch Out, Star Trek, Super C, Super Mario's about. We got Mario 1, and we got Mario 2, and we got Mario 3, and Tecmo Bowl 2. Got Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2. 30 games, which will you choose on the NES Classic? Classic Edition! I wanna make love to you, Nintendo! <laughs> 
Lost my damn mind. Okay, nice to see Mario in a yet another iteration. I can't even tell you how many times I have bought a Mario game. I don't care what people say, man. Super Mario 2 is the game, okay? I'm tired of hearing all these, these kids today. Ooh, donkey, donkey, panic. Ooh, it's not a real Mario game. It, this game was legit. Picking up vegetables and hitting these shy guys with the vegetable, or maybe you don't hit the shy guys with the vegetable, <laughs> but you can hit shy guys with shy guys. We used to joke when I was a kid about this part where whenever Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool back in the day, when she would climb, look at her booty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's not family friendly. This is Nintendo we talking about here, huh, Dre? Now, the story behind Mario 3, I've told this story before, but I was supposed to get Mario 3 uh, when I was a kid, but I got in trouble at school, and so my punishment was that my parents would not buy Super Mario Bros. 3 for me. So the only way I was able to play it was I had to rent it. So I remember renting it and just playing the heck out of it for one full weekend because I thought that was gonna be the only time I was gonna have. Skills. Bow. <laughs> Bye. I owned Donkey Kong. Well, actually what I owned was a Donkey Kong Classics. So that was a cartridge that had Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. All these other <laughs> big games that are out there that I could have spent the same amount of money on. So, oh! Woo! I decided, nope, I want Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Badoo boom. You know what's actually really fun? And Pat the NES Punk got me on this. Is Donkey Kong Jr. math. I wish they would have put that on here just for funny. <laughs> you know, just this would be funny. Just like, you know what? Why not? We got 30 games. Heck, 31. Give them Donkey Kong Jr. math. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Don't let him touch you. Don't let him touch you. Got him. Got him. Ah! <laughs> you dumb -a bobble I think I played Balloon Fight the first time in the arcade. They used to have these versus Nintendo arcade cabinets where you would basically get like arcade versions of the game. But they would be a little bit tougher. They might change a few things on them, but they were really cool. I'm surprised that Tetris is not on here. I don't know if it was a licensing thing, but I would imagine they would have put Tetris uh, NES on here. Horizontal. <laughs> Get rid of all those viruses. You know, I know people love Zelda. I love Zelda as well. But here's a sad story. I did not have Zelda when I was a kid. So I had to rent Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda is not a game you rent, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's a game that you need to buy. Sail the path. Sail the oh! It's funny though, a lot of these games I just ended up playing because I saw them in cartoons. Well, excuse me, princess. The only reason why I played the Castlevania games or rented them was because of Simon Belmont from Captain N, the Game Master. I'm just gonna be real. I know that's a completely different Simon Belmont, but you know what? That Captain N, it worked. I'm just really happy that third parties uh, added some of their games and it's not, oh my God. As much as I love Nintendo, I think it would have been a bummer to just have first party games. So they have third party in here like Konami and Capcom is sweet. These dogs are scared. They give you Castlevania and Castlevania 2. For some reason with Mega Man, you only get Mega Man 2. I don't know why. Wood Man. I get that Mega Man 2 is probably the most popular of the Mega Mans or one of the most popular. But I think it would be neat to still have the first one too, if you're gonna have the second one. Same with Double Dragon. Double Dragon 2, and not the first one. Did they not wanna show that, you know, that infamous beginning of Double Dragon? So they're like, just give them two. I even watched the Double Dragon movie. Yeah, I did that. Oh my gosh, what the? You know how everyone always has that Nintendo friend that only plays sports games? I would go to my friend's house and my friend would have Tecmo Bowl. He used to kick my butt so much with Tecmo Bowl. Whoa. Oh, that's right, they have different displays. I'm gonna change my display. Oh, the CRT filter. Oh, look at that. Look at that nonsense. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Ninja Gaiden. The cutscenes are just so cool. That's what got me to want to look at the game in the first place. I remember looking at it in Nintendo Power and I was like, oh man, I gotta get that. But man, is this game hard. I'm just gonna hide up here. Don't touch me. Go away. <laughs> I'm a ninja. So Gradius is very uh, special in the Nintendo history. 
because that is where we got the classic Konami code. Okay, so here's the funny thing about Punch-Out. I really actually wanted to own this game because one of my friends had Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and I think it was right around that time that they changed it from being Mike Tyson's Punch-Out to just Punch-Out <laughs> with, uh, with, with Mr. Dream. So I think that's why I never got it. I think my dad was like, I'm not gonna buy it now that Mike Tyson's not in it. Oh, you going down. You going down, Glass Joe. He's down. <laughs> Do I need to say anything about this game? It's Pac-Man. <laughs> what version of Pac-Man have I not played? I played the arcades, I played the home games, I played the adventure games. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, Pac-Pal, Pac-Man Plus. Super Pac-Man. They like would take your ship and then you could get the ship back and then you got two ships. Oh man, that was the best. I don't know how Ice Climbers got into my life. Ice Climbers, how did you get into my life? But it was cool to see them in Smash Brothers. When are they gonna come back to Smash? First you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. All these other consoles are out, Xboxes and Playstations, and I'm sitting here playing Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> It's a really good game, man. I used to play Excite Bike at my friend's house. He also had Metroid. I remember Excite Bike and Metroid. And the reason why I never really played Metroid when I was a kid was because he spoiled the ending of Metroid. He showed me some books that showed that it was Samus was a girl. So I was like, well, now I know the ending. Well, I'll play the game for it. That was a mistake. I realized now that was a big mistake. I love they had to shoot open doors. <laughs> it's like, open that door. <laughs> now, Final Fantasy, I've never played it on the NES. This is all new to me, man. So that's going to be nice to be able to experience this for the first time. Man, we have come so far. The, to think of how Final Fantasy 15 is looking when it comes out and to see this, it's just like, wow. Final Fantasy and RPGs and video games have just come a long way. Star Tropics. <laughs> I never played you before. Star Tropics. <laughs> the only thing I know about you <laughs> is what I read in Nintendo Power. <laughs> I don't even know the plot of the game. Welcome to Cora Cola. Mm, that sounds delicious. I would like to drink some Cora Cola. Always Cora Cola. <laughs> Can I talk to the pig? Oink, oink, I can! <laughs> and he's showing me his pig butt! Oh, why did I never play this game? I think I may have to now. That pig butt just sold me on this game. <laughs> Kid Icarus was also a game that my friend had, the friend that spoiled Metroid for me. But the only thing that was so funny about Kid Icarus, I never actually watched them play the whole game. They would just show me the part where Kid Icarus would get hit by the eggplant wizard and turn into an eggplant. So I didn't know there was any more to the game than that. <laughs> you know, there's certain games from Nintendo that I'll, I sit back and play them and I was like, man, I wish I did know more about them to actually play them back then so I'd have more of a history with them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm finished, yeah, I'm definitely finished. I know some of you are probably thinking after hearing all these stories, Andre, did you own any NES titles? <laughs> No, I did. I just, I own a lot of the licensed stuff that obviously will not be put on here because you probably had to get licenses from the companies that make those characters. I had DuckTales, I had the Ninja Turtles games, Rescue Rangers, you know, games like that. I had Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu, and of course, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Yeah, I owned it. Come at me, bro. Those games, probably not gonna be on the NES Classic Edition. So the big question, of course, do you buy this thing? Well, it's $59.99 retail, and it comes with 30 games. So 30 games, $60, two bucks a game. That's less than the virtual console. If you play any of these games, or you buy any of these games on virtual console, it'd be like $4.99. If you don't have any of these games, and you wanna try a bunch of these games, it's a good deal, because you're getting all these games for 60 bucks, plus you're getting a nice little collector's item on top of that. If you have a Nintendo Entertainment System, if you have every single one of these games, I don't know why you would need this. I still imagine a lot of you would buy this because you would want it to add to your collection. But if you're just buying it just for games um, and you've already got a lot of these games, then probably fine. Nintendo has already announced that more of these will be coming out between now and the end of the holiday season. This is clearly a holiday gift. I'm pretty sure we can get some more out on Black Friday and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some more that comes out before Christmas. If you want this really, really bad, I'd say let's see what happens through the holiday season first before you start paying $100. For the prices I've seen people s selling these things, you could buy an actual working real Nintendo and then just buy the games yourself and then play any game you want. 
from the NES library on it. I would say just go find this at that point. So definitely know what you think of this thing. Will you buy it? Were you lucky enough to actually find one? And what are your favorite games that are on here? Or do you have any personal anecdotes about any of these games? Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, chain chomp, yomp.